Taiwan voters dismissed China warnings and hand ruling party a historic third consecutive presidential win. Taiwan President elect Lai Ching De of Democratic Progress Party called the DPP and his ruling mate Hu Xiao B. Kim arrived for the press conference following their victory in the presidential elections on January 13, 2024. Taipei, Taiwan CNN Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progress Party pulled off the historic third consecutive presidential victory on Saturday as voters shrugged up warnings by China that their re-election would increase the risk of conflict. Lai Qingde, Taiwan's current vice president, declared the victory on Saturday evening while his two opposition rivals both conceded defeat. This is the night that belongs to Taiwan. We managed to keep Taiwan on the map of the world, the lie told the thousands of jubilant, jubilant supporters at a rally after his win. The election has shown the world the commitment of the Taiwanese people to democracy, which I hope China can understand, he added. Lies ruling, running mate. Who shall be Kim, who recently served as Taiwan's top envoy to the United States, was elected vice president. The continuing of a vote has concluded with a lie the candidate of Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progress Party receiving just over 40% of the total vote, according to Taiwan's Central Election Commission. Taiwan's opposition Kuomintang Party candidate Hui Yu Yi uh, garnered 33.49% of the vote, with the Taiwan People's Party called the TPP candidate Go Wenji uh, received 26.45%. More than 14 million people took part, meaning that voter turnout came in at just over 71%. The voiceless election campaign, an illustration of Taiwan's uh, vibrant democratic credentials, was fought over a mixture of livelihood issues as well as the thorny question of how to deal with each giant one-party state neighbor, China, which under, uh, under leader Xi Jinping has grown more powerful and bellicose. The result shows voters backing the DPP's view that Taiwan is the de facto sovereign nation that should bolster defenses against China's threat and deepen relations with fellow democratic countries, even if that means economic punishment or military intimidation by Beijing. It's also a further snuff to eight years of increasingly strong uh, strong arm tactics th towards uh, Taiwan under Xi, who has vowed that the Iceland eventually reunification with the mainland is the historical inevitability. Uh, <clears throat> A spokesperson for Ch China's Taiwan Affairs Office insisted that the election result does not represent the mainstream view on the island. Taiwan is China's Taiwan. This election will not change the Beijing layout and course of development in cross-strait relations. It won't change the common wish of a compatriot on both sides to get closer to each other. It further won't change the fact that the motherland will inevitably re be reunited, the spokesperson added, as quoted by China's state news agency Xinhua. Supporters of the ruling Democratic Progress Party called the DPP in Taipei on January 13, 2024. Like outgoing President Tsai Ing-wen, who cannot stand again because of term limited, the lie is openly lauded by China's Communist Party leaders and his victory is unlikely to lead to any improvement in ties between Beijing and Taipei. 
China cut off most communications with Taipei after Tsai took office and ramped up diplomatic, economic, and military pressure on the self-ruled Iceland, turning the Taiwan Strait into one of the world's major geopolitical flashpoints. China's ruling Communist Party views Taiwan as part of its territory, despite having never controlled it, while successive Chinese communist leaders have vowed to eventually achieve reunification. She has repeatedly said that the Taiwan issue should not be passed down generation after generation, linking the mission to his mid-century goal of national rejuvenation. The DPP emphasized that Taiwan is not subordinate to the Chinese Communist Party and that its future Taiwan must only be decided by its 23.5 million people. In the run-up to Saturday's vote, Beijing warned Taiwan's voters to make the right choice and recognize the extreme danger of Lai Qingde's triggering of a cross-strait confrontation and conflict. His running mate, He Xiao, has been sanctioned twice by China for being a stubborn successionist. Speaking to the media ahead of his victory speech on Saturday night, Lai called, called it his win a victory for the community of democracies. We are telling the international community that between democracy and authoritarianism, we still stand on the side of democracy, he said. I will act in accordance with our democratic and free constitutional order in a manner that is balanced and maintains the cross strait status quo, he added. At the same time, we are also determined to safeguard Taiwan from continuing threat and intimidation from China. In the future, we hope that China will recognize the new situation and understand that only peace benefits both sides of the strait, he added. Taiwan's presidential candidate, Hu Yue of the main opposition, Kuomintang Party, bows beside his running mate, Zhou Shou Kong, as they conceded defeat in New Taipei City on January 13, 2024. Blow for Beijing. Lai's victory comes as the U.S. is trying to stabilize the fraught relations with China and prevent competition from veering into conflict. During Tsai's administration, Taiwan bolstered the ties with the United States, its biggest international backer, which increased the support and arms sales to the island. U.S. officials have said that Washington will uphold its long-standing policy towards the Taiwan, no matter who takes on the top job. The Biden administration will dispatch an unofficial delegation, including former senior officers, to Taipei following the election in keeping with the past its practice practice, according to senior officials. The delegation visit will be a signal, a very symbolic way of supporting Taiwan, said it. Um, T.Y. Wang, a professor at Illinois State University. Saturday's result is another major blow for Taiwan's Kuomintang, which backed the warmer relations with Beijing and have not held the presidency since 2016. Beijing made the little secret of its desire to see the Kuomintang return to power. During campaigning, the Kuomintang accused the Lai and the DPP of needlessly, uh, needle, needle. Uh, needlessly stalking tensions with China. Lev, Lev Nachman, a political science professor at Taiwan's National Changchi University, said that while Lai has to make some economic adjustment of given deep public grievance, uh, griev grievance, grievance over low wages and unaffordable housing, on issues like foreign policy and cross strait relations, he is expected to large follow Tsai's approach. So much of Lai's campaign has been trying to reassure not just the domestic audience, but international audience that he is Tsai Wing N 2.0, he said. 
that will not be welcome in Beijing. Days before the election, China's Taiwan Affairs Office said by following the side's path, the lie is pushing, pursuing a path of provocation and confrontation and will bring Taiwan closer and closer to war and recession. Analysts say China could escalate the economic and the military pressure on Taiwan to show its displeasure in the coming days and weeks, or save the more po- forceful response for day for May, when Lai takes office. There's multiple times that China could cause a pause over a DPP victory, either now or later this year, Notchman said. Taiwanese identity has been on the rise as Chinese identity has fallen. And Beijing has the wide range of coercive measures in its toolbox too. In the lead up to the vote, China ended the preferential tariff for some Taiwanese import under a free trade agreement, it could broaden the scope of goods targeted or even suspend the agreement altogether. China can also further ramp up its military pressure on Taiwan, sending more fighter jets and warships close to the Icelandic skies and waters, a tactic it has deployed it with increased frequency in recent years. But Taiwan's security officials said ahead of the vote that they didn't expect the large-scale military actions between chi- uh, people uh, from China right, China right after the election, citing on unsuitable winter weather conditions, troubles in the Chinese economy, and effort by Beijing and Washington to stabilize the ties following a bilateral summit in November, and while an escalation of military tension could increase the risk of accident and miscalculations, it doesn't necessarily portend an imminent conflict in the Taiwan Strait, analyst noted. Just because the DPP is in power doesn't mean China is going to war, said Notchman. The last eight years have obviously been uncomfortable with the DPP in power, but it hasn't led to war. They've been able to find the uncomfortable middle ground, and the hope is that even with the lie presidents that we can continue to have this sort of uncomfortable silence without having to go to work.